guys, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Jetu Shaw and I'm a London-based photographer. I've been away for some time because it has been quite a difficult past few months for me. I guess this is my first video back. I want to thank everyone that has messaged me over the past couple of months, everyone that's checked in on me, everyone that has continued to show support and also all of my new subscribers. There's like 2,000 more of you since I last uploaded so thank you so much and I look forward to sharing some new content with you guys. I also want to say a massive thank you to Suki and Romara from Sandar who have no idea how much they've helped me as far as getting back into creating again. They reached out to me to shoot an editorial for Natal magazine and this is a magazine I've always wanted to shoot for so I was definitely going through it at the time, but the prospect of shooting again was really exciting for me. There's a fly in here, get out. So I thought I'd show you guys the behind the scenes of this editorial, as well as the amazing team that we worked on it with. I managed to convince my brother to assist for me, which was nice as well. So yeah, let's get into it. I shot this editorial both on film and digitally. I shot on Kodak Color Plus on my Canon A1 and digitally on a Canon 5D Mark II with a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. Most of our final selects were shot digitally, but I'm definitely gonna show the analog shots as the video goes on. I often find that shooting on film really helps with the grading of my digital shots. So I do tend to bring a film camera along even if it is a digital shoot. First look, we mainly got individual shots, basically getting our models, Ephosa and Simone, to relax and chill, bask in the sun, that kind of thing. We also had some fabric hanging just slightly above them to help create some cool shapes and patterns on their faces. We started off the shoot using a speed light along with a Godox Octagon softbox, as I really wanted to try out on location flash photography to get that really harshly lit editorial from the 90s type vibe. first location for our second look using the same red fabric. For this look we switched to using the speed light handheld with a silicone dome diffuser for a bit more control over where the light was pointed. As the day went on it didn't make sense to keep using flash photography as the sun was quite high in the sky and the light was getting a bit too harsh. So we ended up using natural light for the rest of the shoot. We walked a bit further along for our second location and again we set up some fabric on a stand to help create some interesting movement on our set. Especially because it was quite windy at this point. My brother used a reflector to reflect some light onto their faces as I still wanted a bit of harshness even though we were using natural light. place where the grass was greener and had our models gracefully chill and recline in the grass. I really love the shots from this one as I think it really demonstrates the difference between film and digital and how you can get entirely different vibes with the same lighting conditions, same location. wanted to use high yellow grasses so we ended up moving to a suitable patch of land. This ended up being quite interesting because I could use the grass in the foreground to help create some additional dimension in the images. It. 
for the editorial. Like I mentioned before, I took inspiration from my images shot on film to help me with my digital edits. But yeah, the editorial is now up on the towel. It's called A Love Story. Creative directed by Sandar, shot by me. And yeah, definitely check it out. I'll link that down below along with everyone's profiles and any equipment I've used. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll hopefully be back with some more content next week. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I hope you all have a blessed week ahead and I'll see you in the next one.